What's going on guys? This is Alex USA Base and uh, today I wanted to talk about Wi-Fi. So the story behind this, uh, recently I got the the mega expensive Xfinity package and it's about 120 megabits of download speed supposedly and uh, I did this because I do Russian YouTube, I do American YouTube now, I do twitching, game streaming, downloading, uploading on several laptops and I mean you can't have the cable all over your place to different computers it's gonna be a mess so I decided to upgrade the Wi-Fi and uh, you know what performance didn't go up uh, not really and I started looking into things to understand why it's going on and then I realized so if you look at this uh, just a second so if you're gonna look at this this is uh, my apartment build, building Wi-Fi that are around me so there's a lot of people and uh, a lot of routers uh, and connections working on 2.4 gigahertz uh, frequency. So mine is somewhere here, but all this is creating a lot of noise. So here is the Xfinity modem slash router standard that was uh, provided. And actually I'm paying extra for this guy. Uh, and it's Wi-Fi capable, uh, but the performance wasn't that good. So I got this little guy from Contana, and I think um, you can go and buy like high-end uh, routers that are on the market. It's that has their chip. So it's like uh, what is it, R7500 or ASUS RT AC87U. So they have a couple like high-end products, which like really good. So this is the standard guy, and this is uh, the Quantana. So what happened when I switched, and I'll show you, this pretty easy. Because this, this is a 4x4 11AC from Quantana, and it works on 5 gigahertz frequency. Check this out. So 1, 2, oh, one, two 3, 4, 5. Only 5 people in the whole apartment building are around me on uh, this frequency and here on 2.4 you got I don't know 30 a lot a lot of people 30 uh, access points so let me show you here is uh, my connection so right now it's connected to home 1C92 which is the Xfinity the default uh, the default router that was provided by Xfinity. So I'm basically, I'm not uploading or downloading anything. This is, you know, pure as it is. So the speed test shows around 72 uh, megabit download. And the quality of the internet, I mean, it's not that good. You will get interruptions, even though it should be sustainable good enough uh, for you know doing multiple things like if you have iPad on and uh, a couple laptops downloading and but it's actually um, very glitchy because of uh, the number of other guys on the same frequency and then I got uh, the the Quantana router you're gonna see the difference right now so we got 80 megabits download speed and 12 megabits upload speed and this is with all the other noise around that you saw on the Wi-Fi analyzer app. And then when I switched from uh, Xfinity to my, uh, to Quantana router, which is Belarus, Ukraine, because I'm from Belarus and my wife is from Ukraine. So now it's connected. Let's do the same test. Test again. Alright, so it's almost 30% better on a download speed. And there's no other people on that uh, frequency. And because it is 4x4, four four, it means it's 4 streams, 4 antennas. It's going to provide more uh, distance, it will have a better connection. And the whole, the, the overall picture is that I was basically paying, um, I was basically paying for, yeah, 
So I was basically paying for something I didn't get. So I wanted really, really high uh, download speed, which was claimed to be 126 megabits per second and uh, pretty good upload speed. But while I was using the provided uh, routers dash modem by Xfinity, I was, I was lacking all the service and because of so many people around me, when I would start uploading and streaming uh, and let's say my wife would be doing something surfing the internet on the iPad, iPad or watching movies it's gonna it's, it's just gonna be terrible because there's so many other people around and uh, the overall speed is not what, what, what it should be and now uh, when I'm on 5 gigahertz and I'm using a Quantana router I'm getting 33 more percent out of my speed instead of what I could have got. So maybe if you're having problem with your Wi-Fi and you know there's something going on and you're paying a lot, it's not re really you know your provider, it's your router, or your modem. So make sure if you want to get a better quality, you know, uh, check out some other options. And again, the high end on the market right now is searching around. So for Quantana, it's R7500 or ASUS RT AC87U. They both have the same chip, and um, they're they're pretty expensive. But you know, for the routers, you can get something cheap. But again, if it's going to be 2.4, and you live in an apartment building like I am, you're going to be stuck with a lot of people around you on the same frequency, and your Wi-Fi going to be terrible. So, yeah. This is basically what I wanted to share. Nothing much, just this little video on Wi-Fi. And if you're having these problems, just check it out. Try um, get Wi-Fi analyzer on your phone and check who's also on, on your frequency. And maybe you might you might want to switch your router first before you call your provider, saying, "Hey, my internet is too slow. I'm not paying for that. Why I'm paying for 120 megabits and I get like only 70 and I get all those glitches and lags while I'm playing." Yeah, so a little something for you on Wi-Fi today. This was Alex USA Days, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.